Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I wanted to do a collaboration with my friend here on YouTube, Angela, Beauty by Angela. She has a fantastic YouTube channel. She does lots of reviews. She does empties. She does makeup like inventory type things. She does like use it up. She does all kinds of things. She's got a variety of type of videos on her channel. I love listening to Angela because she's got a very soothing voice for me. Someone who has anxiety, it's very helpful to listen to somebody who has a very soothing voice. So if you guys would like to go watch her video on these three different looks, I highly recommend you check it out. It will be linked below for you guys. So today I will be doing a live, like not live, but I will be doing a get ready with me with you guys. And then there will be one that's already like kind of sped through a little bit and then I have a picture of a look. So it's not so many looks like combasted at, come back, come, what is the word I'm trying to say? Thrown at you, okay. So many looks thrown at you all at once. It's just going to be a little bit here and there so that way there you can guys can get some ideas from this palette. If you already have this palette, it might give you some ideas. If you were thinking about getting this palette, then it'll give you some ideas. Did I even say what palette we're using? We're using the Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette. I love this palette. I feel like it's a very versatile palette. It does have four matte shades in it that you can use that like can be used to create a multitude of looks. Then all the other ones are perfect to throw into the lid. You can mix and match those together. I love this palette. It's one of my favorites that I own. It smells really good too. So just a fantastic palette. If you guys are coming here from Angela's channel, thank you so much for coming over to watch and I hope you will stick around. Uh, so let's go ahead and scoot into the get ready with me. Okay guys, I've got you zoomed in here so you can see my makeup that I already have on. The only thing I have on so far is foundation and brows. So for foundation, I use the cosmetics the CC cream, I use the illumination one. And then for brows, I'm using a Laura Geller powder product. So I'm trying that out to see if it's any good. Other than that, I do not have any other makeup on. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the eyeshadow palette. So of course we're using the Too Faced, the chocolate gold palette. So I have two looks that I've already already created with this palette as well that are, I've created many looks with this palette, honestly. But there are two looks I'm going to add to this video. So as we're doing this video, somehow, some way, throughout this, you're going to see those two other looks. So one is going to be a video, one is just a picture. So anyway, let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids and to prime my eyelids, I'm gonna use the Tom Ford primer. You don't have to use anything real fancy or anything. You can use whatever primer you're used to, but I've been using this a lot lately and I really do enjoy it. So I need to move this out of the way quick. We need to find a space so I can find a, so I can add a mirror here. I almost dropped a whole thing of SD cards all over the floor. So I'm going to, Put this here and just kind of cancel out any kind of discoloration I have on my lids because I do have some sort of discoloration going on especially in this area right there so I'm gonna do it on the other side as well and you notice I'm not putting it on and like smoothing it out completely and that's just because I'm going to go in with a little sponge and kind of help smooth it out a little bit better I might pull you guys in just a little bit further so you can see my eyes just a little bit better. Is that better? All right, so now I'm going to use, this is the, I think it's the L'Oreal sponge. Really like this sponge. It's super soft. I would say if I was going to purchase any besides the Beauty Blender, this would be it. This is really, really nice. So now I'm going to set my lids and I'm just going to use the, two, the Tom Ford, I was say Too Faced not Too Faced, it does say the TF, but it's not Too Faced. So I'm just gonna set them and use this little purple brush right here just to kind of set all over quickly. It's just basically a powder. It's not anything fancy to it or anything. It's not going to help you in any sort of certain way. I'm just setting them. I can use also to double set to in my uh, Too Faced palette. There's a setting powder that you can use in there as well. So I think I will do that just to make sure that everything's nice and set because I think your makeup just transitions easier if your makeup is set really well. So now I'm going to go into rolling in dough and I'm going to tap into that. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Tap into there and then again, set my lids again just to make sure everything's set. There's nothing sticky or tacky going on. So we're good to go now. Go in again and do the other side. Super easy, nothing real hard. That's what this look's gonna be is really easy too because I like easy looks. I'm not into very dramatic looks just because I'm not very good at them. I don't know how to do them very well. So <laughs> there's no point in me trying to teach you guys something that I can't even do myself. I forgot to get my color switch. So I'm gonna grab one of my little pink towels and clean off this brush. This is a Morphe M433 brush. 
it is dirty, but it is not dirty. There's no makeup on it. So we're going to go into, what's the shade right here? So bougie. We're going to go into that shade right here. And I'm just going to start using that to create a crease. I'm going to start up in here and just start creating a crease here. These colors, that they, these matte shades right here are so perfect for making looks because those are the ones you're really going to need almost every single time you use the palette. And the others are just some happy, fun colors to play with. That's what makes this palette super easy to use is that if you use these four each time that you, to do your eye look, and then you're just going to play with the other colors. That's the other reason why I didn't want to do three actual like videos on this because I know I was doing three looks. But I thought that'd be silly to do that because basically we're doing the same thing over and over again, honestly. At least I do because I kind of stick to one different, one style of eye look. Just because I my eye look, my eye shape and everything goes well with the certain eye look. So everybody's eye shapes go differently, go better with different. I feel like there's a hair or something on my chin. Everybody's eye shapes go different, go better or worse or whatever with different eye looks. Just that mine looks good with this particular eye look that I do. I don't have the best eyes. I have like kind of hooded. So like when I'm looking directly at you, you really can't see my eyes. So I have to go up a little bit further. And then also I do a little trick when I'm doing my eyeliner. I don't really put eyeliner on my lid anymore. I used to do that, but I noticed that it was kind of getting rid of lid space. So I started doing something else to kind of prevent losing any lid space. So I'm going to take this up pretty high so you can see it. So that color is not real. It's not a whole lot. I mean, there's pigmentation to it. You can obviously tell I have shadow on now, but it's not anything crazy. Now I'm going to use a different brush. I'm going to use this one here. This is my Glamour Dolls Whale whale tail whale something sperm whale brush I don't know what it's called and I'm going to go down to coca truffles right here tap into there tap off and now I'm just going to kind of like deepen up the outer V deepen it up a little bit and then bring it in this is just going to intensify your your crease a little bit more hopefully you can see what I'm doing Okay, I'm going to go in and do the same thing on the other side. Might not be completely perfect though. I think I just goofed up, guys. You guys ever do that? Like start doing your makeup and you're like, wait a minute, I went a little too far. So we've got to make it a little bit further here now. That's all right. We'll fix it. We'll get it fixed. Now what I'm going to do is go back using that same M Morphe M443 brush, M433 brush. <laughs> I'm going to just clean it off a little bit and I'm just going to kind of blend these shades together just to make it look a little bit more like it goes together. Like it's not just like two different colors there. I just think the more you blend, the better off your eye is going to look, your eye looks going to look. So I like to blend a lot, but you want to do it kind of gently. You don't want to be pulling around your eyes too much because you don't want to loosen your skin up around your eyes or anything. So we're going to just keep blending. Just keep blending. Just keep blending. I feel like Nemo every time I think blend about blending. Nemo? You guys like Nemo? Okay. So here we go. There is that part so far. Now I'm going to go in with the bold poppy color. So today I'm going to use, let's see, I did a purple look. I've done a green look. So, and there's another purple and there's another green. So this is Hala for Adala. Hopefully you can see Hala for Adala. I think I'm going to use that on the actual lid. And then to give myself a little bit of color, like lightness towards the center portion, we'll use something different. So I'm going to go in with my finger. I'm going to use my ring finger. I'm going to go in here like that and put it on my finger. You can see that color there. It's really pretty. So now I'm just going to tap this onto my lid. We'll blend it out too, don't worry. We're just going to tap it here and I'm going to take it in a little bit. And there's what that color looks like. <clears throat> right now it looks like a hot mess. <laughs> so I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I keep feeling like I'm losing my voice, guys. I hope not. 
Did you see how shiny that is? Oh, it's so pretty. Now I'm going to go back in using my sperm oil brush or sperm something, something oil brush. I have no idea. I'm going to use this and I'm just going to blend this up into the crease a little bit. I know it's a shimmer shade and you really don't want to use that up in the crease a whole lot, but I always blend it up just enough so that it, it blends together. And I don't think that looks bad. So, but that's my opinion, you know. I'm sure others might think it might not look that good. So here we go. Do you guys hear the birds chirping in the background? I think spring is coming, guys. All right, now I'm going to go back into this palette. I think I'm losing my voice for real. I'm going to go back into this palette, and now I'm going to use, let's see, what color haven't we used? I'm going to use this shade right here, which is Famous. I'm going to use that a little bit on the inner portion. So I'm going to grab this little brush. This is a little, what is this called? This is a Visanti Detailed Eyeshadow Brush. It's just a little bitty flat brush. So I'm just going to pick some of that up on this brush here. Tap it off and then put it here. It's just a little bit lighter. It's not dramatically lighter, but that's okay. I kind of do eye looks by the seat of my pants. Do you guys, do you guys like plan out what you're gonna do or you just start looking at a palette and be like, yeah, let's just do that. Cause that's what I do. I just, I'm like, yeah, let's do that. Okay. Now that that's on, now I'm going to put a little bit more on this side because I feel like there's more on this side than there is on this side. I'm just going to get dead back in a little bit. Bring it in a little bit further. Just a little further. There we go. That looks better. <clears throat> now I'm going to go ahead and set my palette down for a second. And I'm going to conceal under my eyes because that's the next step for me what I would typically do because I'm not going to do much more to my actual eye look other than you'll see. You'll see. Okay, so I'm using my Naked Skin Cos Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay. So this is the one I love to use. I just go in and put a little bit here like this. A little bit, a lot, same difference, right? Okay, now I'm gonna use that same beauty sponge and I'm just going to tap this in. The sponge gets so soft and it feels so nice on your skin. It's super soft. I'd say it's definitely comparable to a beauty blender. I really like this one. I need to get some more of these because these are a lot more affordable than a beauty blender. I think these are what, like eight bucks, something like that. A lot better than a beauty blender, I, in my opinion, for price wise, especially. And they feel so soft and I like the little pointed tip and the little rounded bulbous end. So I like to spend a little bit of time making sure that I've gotten my concealer on correctly. I don't do like a brightening type effect. I just basically want something to conceal my darkness, something to get rid of that. Now I'm going to use this. This is the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. So I'm just going to tap a little bit into the lid here. And I'm going to go in and use this brush right here. This is a Luxie Precision Foundation Brush. I'm not using it for foundation. It's called the 660 brush, I think, yes. So I'm just going to tap into the powder a little bit, tap off a little bit. I'm just going to put this under. I'm not going to bake, believe me, I'm not baking. I think I'm too old to bake, but I will go ahead and put some powder there just to set my under eyes because I feel like it does set it really well. My favorite under eye setting thing that I use is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores, but I thought I'd try something else. We can't always use the same thing all the time, so I have been trying this out a little bit more lately. So now I'm just kind of sweeping along, making sure I got the powder where it needs to be and there's not an excess of powder anywhere. So I'm just doing light sweeping motions. And there that is. I'm telling you, there's a hair or something on my face, guys. I can feel it. Now I'm going to go ahead, since I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and do my blush because we'll come back to the eyes. So I'm going to use the Too Faced Sweetie Pie. This is a bronzer. But I use that as a blush. Here's what it looks like. It's I like it as a blush because it gives you almost that sun-kissed look. So I'm just going to dip my Besame. This is my Besame blush brush. I go in here kind of forcefully and just give myself that beautiful bronzy peachy glow. I love this blush. It's not really, like I said, it's not supposed to be a blush. They call it a bronzer. 
but I don't use it as a bronzer because I think it just looks beautiful as a blush. It looks like, I don't know, it looks like summertime in my opinion. I think we need a little powder on my chin. I look a little powdery there. I'm going to grab my little powder brush here. I look a little shiny. Did I say I look a little powdery there or a little shiny? I have no idea what I just said. There we go. Powder up a little bit. That looks a little bit better. <clears throat> I like to take my blush and kind of go up too. Because I think it just makes your cheeks look like they're a little bit higher up. So I'll go up a little bit with it. So there's what it looks like. So there's my cheeks and my uh, concealer so far. Now I need highlight. So, sorry guys, I had to go out of frame for a second. I'm going to use the Anastasia Amrezi highlight. So I'm going to use the Sigma Tapered Highlighting Brush, and this is the F35. I'm just going to tap into this a little bit, a lot. This is like a baked gelée type of formula, so you have to kind of dig in a little bit, in my opinion. So I'm going to dig in some, and then we're going to put some on here. Isn't that pretty? And do it here too, and then take it down to my nose. I take it all the way down. I don't, I do it a little bit over my lip. I'm gonna wipe away so it doesn't look like snot's hanging down from my lip, from my nose. Okay, so we're gonna come back to the highlight maybe. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my It Cosmetics brush. This is the It Cosmetics, um, I don't even know what it's called, but it's like a twist, it's like a shaped brush. I don't even know what they call it. So I'm gonna use that. I'm going to see if I need to flip my mirror here, probably. Yes, that's probably the smartest thing to do. Flip that, and I'm going to go back into the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette. I'm going to use the shade right here, which is Decadent. I'm going to use Decadent on the other side of the brush right here. I don't know if you can tell. See this side right here? I'm going to use that side, and I'm just going to go up into my lashes a little bit with it. And this is my way of lining and not using lids, but not losing lid space. So that's how I line and don't use lose lid space. Okay, hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing because I might be out of frame here. I hope not. Okay, so there that is. Now I'm going to finish my under part of my eye. I'm going to go in with this brush right here. This is the Sigma the short shader brush the e20 brush i'm going to use this one and i'm going to go back in and use pretty much the same colors i used on the top part of my eye on the bottom part so i'm going to go back in and use hala for Adala right here tap that off and i'm just going to smudge that out a little bit underneath i'm going to take it about halfway in and then i'm going to do the same thing on the other side And that's good. Then I'm going to wipe my brush off on my little pink cloth here. Get it nice and clean. And now I'm going to go back into this palette and I'm going to go into uh, Famous, which was the shade that we used on the lid or on the inner portion. And I'm going to put that more towards the outer portion here and kind of blend that in a little bit and do the same thing on the other side. And there that is. Now all I need to do is a brow bone highlight for this. So I'm gonna go back in and use my sperm oil brush, but I gotta make sure I clean it up really good because I did use some darker colors with this. So I'm gonna clean this real nice, real nice. Got it at Target, it was on sale. <laughs> well, I thought of that, Talladega Nights. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back into this shade right here, which was the first shade we used. I'm gonna go back into that and I'm just going to highlight my brow bone a little bit with that. It's a matte shade, so I like a matte brow bone highlight. Okay, so that is the look complete except for lashes. So now we're going to put on lashes quick. My battery light is flashing. Hopefully we can get lashes on very quickly. So I'm using the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this on. If I don't get to finish or if we cut off, then I will come back on here sure you guys will see me. All right. 
there's that side I am terrible at mascara so guys don't do don't judge my mascara skills I can't do mascara to save my life and that's okay I never claimed to be a mascara pro a professionado, aficionado. I have no idea. I'm going to put another layer of that mascara on off camera. So I'm going to change my battery quick and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I added another layer of mascara. So the mascara is on now. The only other thing I want to do is put an inner corner highlight. And for me, what I'm going to use today is the Anastasia Amorizi highlight right here. I'm going to use that just for my inner corner highlight. I'm going to tap into that with my ring finger. Actually, <laughs> no, we're not. We're going to tap in with it with our pinky finger. And I'm just going to tap a little bit right here in the center in the inner corner on both sides and then I'm going to take my ring finger and kind of like blend it a little bit just tap it in and that is the complete makeup look so I'm gonna zoom you guys back out so you're not so close uh, wrong way okay so that is the completed makeup look I think it turned out pretty good. I really do love this palette. I think it's an excellent palette. I think it's re very versatile because you do get those first four shades, like I said, that you can kind of build upon. Like I could have added that matte black to the inner court, the outer corner, and then made this a little bit more dramatic, but I wanted to leave it a little bit more, I guess, daytime appropriate. I don't know. Is this daytime appropriate? I don't know. I'd wear it in the daytime, but that's because I'm, I wear anything. It doesn't matter. I, I I don't really wear like bold crazy color looks but I do wear like this is like a natural look in my opinion so I hope you guys will go check out Beauty by Angela's channel Angela's channel I really do love enjoy watching her videos I think she's very sweet she's very informative I think she's got a very soothing voice if you guys are looking for someone who has a very soothing voice that for me is important because I do have high anxiety so I love watching her channel because she's very soothing to me so so anyway, go check her channel out because I really do enjoy watching her. I think you will enjoy watching her as well. I think this collab went very well. I can't wait to see what her looks turned out to look like. I know this palette is very fun to use. I feel like you can create many, many looks with, like I said. So it's just a fun palette to play with. So anyway, if you guys have this palette as well, if you'd like to see more looks, let me know because I did, like I said, do three looks. You guys probably saw them throughout this. This was the look we did together. And then of course I did one that was kind of like sped through and then a picture of one. So anyway, let me know if you would like to see more. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.